Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Part. All right, this is really going to be basically part two. A man called me up and he says, "What do I do?" All right, it says here the filter pump should run. Tally ho! Run continuously when the heater is on. Okay, we know that. So if the heater is on, we got water flow. All right. And then at least for 15 minutes after the heater turns off. So that means if we got a time clock, well, we're doing some service work on this heater, and it's been running for a while. We turn off the heater, wait, you know, get our hoses ready to do the vacuum and everything. And the last thing we do is turn off the pull pump. All right. So this this heater cools down. And right in here is your fireman switch. So I had a man call me up and ask me where you get these. And tell you the truth, I really didn't know. I knew they existed. And I went through the internet and there's all kinds of all kinds of prices. And then after a while looking at them and looking at the companies, I go, well, that's really not what people want good quality. So anyway, I will have pictures. I'm going to swing this off. So here's your fireman switch. Remember, if you ever do connect this up, it goes on the low voltage side of the cabinet. It does not touch any of the high voltage. It's the low voltage wire. And this is talking about a special time clock that it turns off the heater for 15, 20 minutes, and then it turns off the pull pump. Now we got one other problem, guys, and nobody's thinking about it, so we got to think about this. All right, so here is the fix. Unfortunately, we don't have the picture of it yet. I'm getting a picture. I don't know how to enter my server and so to put the picture in, so there's going to be no picture. So... We're going to go, I got it in numerous places, but we scroll down. I know it says check status. Um, I can I can get them within a day or two. That's not a problem. This is your 120 volt application. This is your 208, 277. All right. The picture will be here. Check status. Don't worry about it. Just click on it and order it, and I'll get it to you. All right. But there you go. That is a for a fireman switch turn off. So when the pump is running and you got a time clock, instead of turning off your stay right heater with the pull pump and causing all kinds of problems. All right, um, this will turn off your heater. Then 15, 20 minutes later, it'll turn off your pull pump. Now we got a problem, though. And, my, and I saw this a lot with this timer. This is why I do not like this timer. I don't like this timer for this one particular reason. When a pull pump first fires up, we all know... It brings water in, brings water out, so, so they don't prime up. Most of them don't prime up right away. Okay? So, now what do we do? Because we want to avoid a dry fire. Let me show you. I wish I had the diagram. I'll explain to you how to put it in. And this is one of the better. It took me a while to find this, guys, too. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to flow switches. All right. So now we got turning off okay. But now what happens when the pool pumps uh, cycles water and kicks on the heater and we don't have proper water flow? Alright, this is how we're going to fix that problem. 
we are going to order one of these guys. Self-adjustable. So if you got a 200,000 BTU, minimum we know is 20 gallons a minute. 333 is 33 gallons a minute. 400,000 BTU is 40 gallons a minute. We know that's minimums. So you set this uh, on 60 gallons a minute. And this will help with, you, with some of you, a lot of your dry fires. Uh, if you have ball valves and you experienced a dry fire and you bought the um, piece that goes inside the heater, you know, the main header, and spent $900 for a brand new header, this will end that problem because if it doesn't have water flow, you we'll tell the heater how to turn on. Now, Harvey, you gotta say, Harvey, how do we wire it? Unfortunately, I should have brought up a stay right heater, but imagine the stay right heater is a circle. We got two pipes, one going in, one pipe going out. All right. The in pipe, well, the top of the header has a round pressure switch with two wires connected to it. We're going to pick any one. I don't care if it's the top one or the bottom one. We are going to take one wire off the pressure switch and connect it to one wire to this. This has two wires. Then the second wire we're going to turn around and we're going to replace that wire to that pressure switch. Now we got a double safety feature. A number one, if we don't have pressure, it won't fire. A number two, if we don't have, um, if we don't have proper flow, it's not going to fire up the switch. So now, now we solve two problems. We got a cool down heater, and we just ended the dry fire. All right, so there we go. Now, how do we plumb this puppy in? Good question. All right, here's your T's. Takes a one inch, all right? So here's a two by two by one. And then there's inch and a half by inch and a half by one. You screw it right into that T. There's your T's, all right? So for dry fires and making sure your heater has proper flow, you go here and you put a T in. That ends that problem. And then you go ahead and you wire that fireman switch into here. All right. So again, real easy. I'll have pictures in a little bit. No. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm do this. Come on. Looking at my left screen, I usually don't look at my left screen. I usually look at at two screens. I you'd normally look at my right screen. And there we go. There's for the 120 volt. It turns off your pool pump and turns off your heater. And the same with 270, 208, 277. All right, have them both in stock. I just put a check status. Between those two problems, between those two problems, will fix your dry fires and your overheating and keeping the warranty in by that time clock. Remember, it's low voltage, it's not high voltage. Just do not connect it to high voltage when you are connecting it. Let's see, do I have. I know I go over and over and over and over this, but I see it too many times. When you deal with high voltage, these are too bloody close to high voltage. Make sure you turn off the power on high voltage. You take these two wires off and you put them in the corner. If you don't have new stab tabs, go to Ace, Home Depot, 
with this and say, I need a couple of these and put them in. Because if the time clock has a problem, this is an easy troubleshooter to make sure if you, you, you can eliminate the um, time clock, make sure it doesn't have a problem or if it's the heater. Alright, just keep in mind. Another big pet peeve of mine, if you have a 120 volt application, and I gotta find where it is in the manual, I have to read the manual again. I don't know the manual as good as I used to. They kind of redid it. You just don't turn off the hot on 120 volt. It brings floors up every once in a while, funky floors. I've seen it. So what you want to do, and they tell you they want two both lines disconnected. Okay, it could be here or somewhere. I didn't read this. But if you have a 120 volt application, it wants the hot and the neutral as a disconnect. So put a disconnect in. Okay, I like disconnects. I don't like switches. They fail. Once I, once I pull those disconnects, and it's wired properly. I had one time on a heat pump. Um, I always check voltage. The um, disconnect was in there, but both hot and for the heat pump, the wires were wired together. Disconnect didn't matter anything. <laughs> I guess the person didn't know how to wire a disconnect. That's why you always check with a volt ohm meter um, if you have power. All right. I'm glad that day I remembered my own rule. All right. So there is the fireman switch. Read and understand your application. All right. Your book. There is your switch for dry fires and here is your controller if you're turning it on and off by um, by a time clock okay you need this special time clock keep your warranty up you buy a brand new heater, you want to keep your warranty clock. If you don't have that proper time clock, voyage out your warranty. Um, I'm been a stay right authorized stay right warranty station for many, many, many years. I um, forget how long, but um, it's been a long time. All right, guys. So there you go. There is the answer to your two praying problems. If you go that route, remember to never mix high voltage to low voltage. And then when you connect, if you're going with the um, flow one, one, pick any of the one off the pressure switch. One wire goes to the new flow switch. And the other wire goes from the flow switch to the one you took off on the pressure switch and that'll end your dry fires and that'll keep you up on warranty and it'll keep you up on everything you possibly need to do all right guys that's Harvey from all parts hopefully this was education 101 at least, at least we answered some answers okay so come couple of questions take care guys bye